I would like to come on and do a video for um to uh, pray and to uh, share some scripture from Revelation uh, Revelation 22 um, verse 17 and then pray for our night and it says the Holy Spirit and the bride the church believers say come and let the one who hears say come and let the one who is thirsty come let the one who wishes take and drink the water of life without cost. Glory to God. And the Lord is saying, you know, the river of life. The river of life. I'll just read a version. Let the one who wishes let the one who wishes take a drink the take a drink take and drink sorry the water of life without cost and the lord you know he he's a sustainer he sorry about the camera he's a, a sustainer and that by the holy spirit he sustains us and 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 protects us and gives us strength and holds us up And I want to encourage you to rely on God. Continue to rely on God. Because he's so faithful. He will never let you down. He will never leave you. Never forsake you. He's always with you and me. And he will never, ever leave us. Never, ever, ever. Doesn't matter how you feel. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter whether you feel God is with you or not the word of God says he will never leave you nor forsake you so know that the Lord will never leave you and that the Holy Spirit of God is our sustainer he is the one he's our helper he's our comforter he's, he's our everything our everything and he raises a standard up against all that is not of him all darkness that will that flees when the light Jesus is around and when he raises up a standard against the enemy. The Ephesians 6 says we battle not against flesh and blood and life is, uh, you know, it, it's, we, it's reality. We live here, we are, we are on the earth, but we are spiritual beings, you know, we are spiritual, we are spiritual beings who come from God. And we go back to God. And the Lord says, you know, we have these, uh, the opposition of God. And he is our God. The Lord is our safeguard against that opposition. So according to his word in Ephesians 6, if you would read it in your own time, and it's amazing, you know, the Holy Lord protects us and keeps us safe, you know. And so let's pray for our night and give thanks to God. Lord, we thank you that you are our protector, Lord. That you are raised up a stand against the enemy like a, like a rushing stream, Lord God, overwhelming everything that's not of you away from us. And we thank you and praise you, I pray, as we sleep. That you will just continue to be with us and protect us as you always are, Lord. And we love you and we thank you and bless your name. Thank you for protecting our children and our family and everything concerning us, Lord. In your name we pray, Jesus. We exalt your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.